first grade students. So we are going to be working on a drawing that is inspired by the artist that you just learned about, Vincent van Gogh. And so for this lesson, what we're going to focus on is using our observation skills so, and our investigation skills to look at images and to look at something that we're going to draw. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a work of art that tells a story about an experience that you had. So something you did in life. And this experience, I want you to focus on something that's outdoors because Van Gogh did a lot of landscapes that were really, really cool. And we're going to use his style. And his style is really cool because it uses just a lot of single lines or curved lines, but then he just puts them on top of each other. And so today we're going to use crayons for this project because crayons are good, uh, good for this. And the whole idea is to put lines next to each other and on top of each other and to make a really cool drawing based off of Van Gogh's art. Uh, all right, so first thing I did is I did a little sketch of the place outside. And that place is actually outside of my house. So the story I'm telling is uh, when my family and I watched fireworks together outside of our house and we could see the fireworks all the way from our house outside of town. And this is town down here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the fireworks in the middle. And then I'm going to try to draw like Van Gogh painted using my crayons. So what you want to do is you want to add the brightest things first. Because we don't want to cover them, cover the bright parts up. And if you notice, especially on the painting Starry Night, Van Gogh makes his stars and his moon and a lot of things in the sky really, really bright. And so we're going to imitate that. Now, if you do a day scene, obviously, you're just going to use a lot of fun, bright colors. But for a night scene, we're going to use bright colors to, and large areas to show the stars and the moon and our fireworks. So let's give this a go. I'm first going to start with some of the fireworks. They are some of the brightest parts. And so what I'm going to do is right in the center, I'm going to make my fireworks line. Now fireworks kind of explode from one point in the center. And so I can draw them like this, all coming from one point with my nice, bright color, like this. Okay, so here's a few of my really, my brightest things. I'm probably gonna take a white crayon later and put more white around it, but not right now. And so now I'm just going to color in some of the brightest areas and I'm just going to use lines. I'm not going to color it in uh, by leaving my crayon on the paper. I'm going to make individual lines as I go. Add some yellow all around my moon just like this, and it's okay to go on top. And then I'm gonna add stars also. So I'm going to, this is how Van Gogh did his stars. He would do a big yellow dot, and then an orange dot in the center, and then a little orange ring around it like that. And then he'd take various colors like orange and white, and do dotted lines all around his star like this. Okay, and you'd also use white. I know it's white paper right now, but you can add some white in there. And they'll make dotted lines all around. So that's how he did his stars.
now we're going to start working with some of the darker areas. And on Starry Night, Van Gogh did almost this like really, really cool looking white section that kind of went through his sky on the back. And so you can do that too, but you have to do it later. So what you're going to do is put your blues in first and then later you can come back and you can go ahead and add some white to the blue. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that out. I'm just going to make what will appear to be kind of a swirly line that goes next to some of the stars, comes up, and then exits the sky out there. And then I'll put another one coming back down on this side. I want I don't want to put it right through my fireworks obviously. Since that's the focus of the story of my work, but I'm going to put it right coming next to this moon. Okay. So now that I've laid that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue, I'm going to take my black crayon to help me make the sky and I'll probably add some other other blues as I go as well. But the idea is you're going to come right down to the bottom of whatever you have here, whether it's mountains or anything else, and you're just going to start adding lines. swirly lines using the blue and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, other blues and even black into here and then we're going to do the swirl in the center we're going to change the blue color and add some white also to those swirls all right here we go thing is we're gonna add a different blue in here it's almost a gray like blue and you use whatever you have to make these swirls almost like they're clouds and we want to make them the lines go one way so it feels like it's moving okay we'll add a little bit of this blue also And there we go, we have a sky like Van Gogh would do. All right, so we're gonna continue on with our Van Gogh drawing. And now we're gonna focus on our mountains and everything else down here. We're gonna use the same exact techniques. Now, one really cool thing you can do to separate the mountains from the sky, is you can come in with your black crayon, and that's what I'm gonna do, and going to outline the top of the mountains. And I'm not going to use the lines again because I really want it to uh, show. I'm going to make little dashed lines in between because those fireworks are going to be nice, big, and bright. And so I don't want anything to interfere with those. Okay, and so just like that, I've got the outline of my mountains. Now, um, for my mountains specifically, they're going to be pretty dark. And uh, I can, what I can do is I can come in with my crayon and add my dash marks again. Come in because the mountain comes down like that and like that. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to have them all going in relatively the same direction. All right, and then I'm gonna continue on and choosing colors that I think will be good for the house, for down here. Um, it's a night scene, so everything is going to kind of be 
dark except for this bright spot in the sky where my fireworks are and all these things. Alright, hi kindergarten first grade. Sorry, I lost a little bit of footage of me doing this part, but uh, we're still going to continue on. I'll finish the, the last parts down here. All right, students, so we're gonna end it here. Uh, have fun with this. This is all about just making lines, making swirls, making circles with things that go around them. It's the, if you just look at all the Van Gogh paintings in the video, you'll get some ideas of what direction to make your lines go. And you can tell all my lines here, they're going up and down. The lines in the mountains are going diagonal, okay, and then my lines in the sky, well, they're going all sorts of different directions, swirling all about. And so that's what will really make your artwork look really, really cool. All right, so that's it for now. We're going to stop there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson, and I hope you have fun making this. Use crayons. Crayons work really well for this project, and uh, they're a lot easier to use than colored pencils because they have that colored pencils have a little tiny tip. This is perfect. Crayons are perfect for this. Uh, all right, students, I really hope you have fun with this, and we'll talk to you later.